I'm the generic Red Sun Genius, and this is a short video on Minecraft Disco Lighting. So to start off, I'd like to point out that there's two basic types of Disco Lighting in Minecraft. So the first one is a loop. This is the one that goes in a circle and it automatically loops itself, so you don't need anything really sticking out the side to loop it. However, some of them can't be looped, and it doesn't go in a circle like this one. So you need a bit of redstone to loop it, or you need observers. You'll see, if you compare the two, that the one with the, um, the observers used to loop it, it's a bit thinner, which is um, something to keep in mind when you're choosing which way to do it. And also, if you're doing it with um, redstone, you need to kind of make a dip so you can have the sticky piston. Um, these sticky pistons are used just to turn it off, so you'll see that one turns off. Then when we flip this, this turns off. Um, when you do have the observers in, however, it is a little bit easier to turn off because you can just um, link it to one of these and then disconnect it. Obviously, you'd have this um, connected up somewhere, so like you'd have like a redstone line and you'd lead it somewhere. Um, regardless, um, another way to make the line thinner is by placing blocks in between it, in between the observers, this observer, and um, the lights. So you'll see this line of lights is only about three blocks thin. But on this one, where there isn't a gap, it's about four to five blocks wide. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, and there's a few rules you kind of need to follow when you're doing it. So the first one is, when you're trying to like make it change directions, you have to make sure... Let's break a few, actually. You have to make sure the observer goes into the old line. So like this. Because what's happening is this is going to get powered, and then this observer is going to detect the update that gets caused by this getting powered. So this one's going to get powered there, um, the one I'm looking at. This one will detect it getting powered because it causes the update, and turn on the slap. However, you cannot do it like this, because if you do it like that, it will just... Um, sorry, you cannot do it like this, my bad. Because if you do it like this, it will get powered, this observer, and that um, won't do anything because if there was only detect updates and it getting powered won't um, cause anything. So if we flip this, it doesn't work. Flick it again, doesn't work. But if you place it like this and flick it, it works. You can also do redstone dust. That technically works as well, but in more complex patterns, it wouldn't work. So I just recommend sticking to observers. So... The basic concept is to make a loop like this, or you can just make a loop on the outside. So the loop can either be the thing or a loop on the outside to make the lighting. So let's just demonstrate a quick wave pattern. So what that is, is a line, and you just come out like this, a few um, observers, to make the wave. Then what you need to do is create the loop for it. So you can take... Um, the output from here, and loop this back around into here. So now you'll see this loop, and you'll see these ones all turning on and sequential. If you want to do a loop, then what you have to do is just do a circle, and then fill it in. And obviously you can make it bigger or smaller. And you can do any pattern you like, so maybe you can try doing something like this. So you can have like it kind of like sneaking back and forth. You can be creative and do whatever you want, but just to show you for the wave design, what you're going to do is you're going to place um, blocks or redstone um, lamps. Sorry. You're going to place observers over all of the um, main ones. The, don't place over these ones because these are part of the loop, so not over these ones. But you'll place observers over all of these blocks. Then you can either make the decision to place in the blocks or not place in the blocks. I'm not going to. Then once you've done that, all you must do is um, put the sticky piston and power it on power it so this will make the on and off switch. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple. Just remember to put the sticky piston somewhere to break the loop. So not on these ones because that's not part of the loop. If it's a circle one, it can be any um, of the outside ones like here. But on the ones that only go, like, what, like, there aren't a full loop, that have the separate things for loops. Like this one, just make sure it's one of the blocks that are part of the loop, or the observers that are part of the loop. So yeah, just remember that when you're changing directions, you go like this. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So this was a quick little guide on making disco lighting in Minecraft. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more short videos like this. Because there's some topics that I can just cover in like, you know, 3, 4, 5 minutes. They don't really need like the 10, 20 minute video. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these short videos. And yeah, I've been the Generic Redstone Genius and I'll catch you guys in the next one.